L- last week on the Facebook page, wild, look for Wild Show uh, as a group on Facebook. And last week there was a link to uh, Devon Live. Sorry, Devon Live. Uh, their report about Harlequins, which is the latest area it's going to become, we think, uh, student accommodation. And we've been we've been having a look at it, and it's it's amazing how much there is in Exeter, in every direction as you go from the sort of centre of the High Street or uh, where the Phoenix is, and go, just go in any direction. There's, there seems to be a, a building site with student accommodation, and um, then I'll put a link this week. I've I've found that Coventry University are going to be offering online degrees, and um, this fits in with Future Learn. So the whole thing about the MOOC. Um, or the mock, the monetized online course certificate that JD and I have been talking about for, for quite a while. It all seems to be fitting together. And um, whether that whether that's going to be uh, viable for Coventry University, I, d- I don't know. I imagine it will work. Um, certainly Coursera is, do- is doing very well in the States and a, f- a few others are, are looking at degrees following up from the MOOC technology. And I, I imagine that's that's going to going to work out. Um, we last last year we we went Chris Chris and uh, John from the We Not Know show. We went to Bet, and I also went to Learning Technologies, and we'll we'll be going again this year in January February next year. Yeah, th- yeah, th- next year, but it's sort of started. Um, Coventry University going to be there, but so it sort of started online as a discussion, let's say. So I, I just wonder how these things are going to fit together, because if there if there is a move to online uh, learning, online degrees, whatever, um, will we actually need as much of a campus building site or building, uh, yeah, lecture halls, libraries, um, meeting meeting places, and all the associated um, accommodation? I I'm not at all sure we will really, um, but it just seems it seems to be that everybody's quite well. Not everybody. There are people prepared to invest in such things, but I I don't know how much it's, it's sort of based on debt that um, the universities are investing in in uh, their campus because they think they can attract students on that on that sort of basis of how good the architecture is. And so that's nine grand or something times so many every year, so they believe. And then the students invest in accommodation and people build more accommodation. And that all, it all sounds fine, but if, if there is a, a cheaper alternative coming along, um, well, it might, it, might, it, might, it might work out differently at some, some point. Anyway, we'll, co- we'll come back to this aspect uh, when Jake get. It gets back. We're also on, on Facebook. Find find the Wild Show on Facebook and see what you make of it.